about August. Hold on. God almighty, that's... No, that was just me clicking. No, no, I had a thing flick up on my screen that if I pushed the wrong thing, I would have left the meeting. Okay, well, we'll start again and welcome everybody to this, our second to last meeting of this triennium. My, those three years have gone really, really fast. So tonight we have apologies from Councillor Coates and Board Member Marilyn Stevens. Would somebody like to move that those apologies be accepted? Thank you, Cam. Seconder. Thank you, Shelley. Done. Right, do we have any declarations of interest relating to any agenda items? None? Okie dokie. Right, has our public speaker arrived? Okay, well, we'll move, we'll move on and we'll circle that and come back to it when they come in. Okay, are there any leave of absences between now and the end of the triennium? Nope. Right, Matt has Chris, on yep. Sorry, Chris, did you just want to let um, the board, the meeting know that, um, that Sue's just standing in for, for Janice, who's away on leave, just for the oh, record. Okay. That, yeah, oh, so everyone... Have... Janice is on leave, so Susan <laughs> Owens is standing in for Janice yeah. for this meeting. Sorry, Susan, that was very bad of me to actually not say that. I'm just, sort of, I'm just so used to Janice sort of sitting there and sort of going over the whole thing. <laughs> Kia ora so, koutou, everybody. And I also didn't welcome Frank from the Otaki Mail either, so welcome Frank, a belated welcome, I'm terribly sorry. Um, okay, so matters of an urgent nature. So we do have our one matter of an urgent nature, which is our funding. So I need to read this little spiel out, so please bear with me. There is a matter of an urgent nature which needs to be considered at this meeting, namely the additional grant funding which is available for distribution by the Oldtaker Community Board. Understanding Order 9.12, 9 an item of business which cannot be delayed, can be added to the agenda when the board resolves to deal with that matter and the chairperson gives the reason the item is not on the agenda and the reason why the discussion of the item cannot be delayed until the subsequent meeting. In regards to the additional funding available for distribution, the timeframes for pulling together the proposal were very tight and the proposal was not able to be finalised prior to the agenda being published. Consideration of this matter cannot be delayed as the board needs to consider the applications for grant funding at the last board meeting of the triennium, which is on 13 September 2022. Therefore, I move that the Otaka Community Board resolve to deal with this matter at this meeting after item 6.1, road naming report, 13A Tiwaka Road. Do I have a seconder? Thank you very much, Shelley. Is there any discussion on that? Would anybody like to have a, a discussion on that matter? Pop your hand up if you do, or shake your head. Okay, no, well, that's fine. Okay, then, will all those in favour? Wave your hand these, hands up and, okay. Cam, are you in favour? Yes? Is he with us? Cam? No. <laughs> I'm sure he is. Yeah, yes? I'm, I was nodding and shaking and waving. You were nodding I, and shaking. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd frozen, Cam. That's why we yeah. couldn't see you nodding oh, or shaking. Yeah, yeah. Internet in my oh. place isn't the best. Okay then, so we will get back to that at the end of the road naming. Okay, road naming. Goodness me, this is going to be very quick, isn't it? So we have. Has anybody, everybody, seen the the names on the on their papers? Yep. This is the way that little subdivision just off Tiwaka Road. Just you wonder what going. they were doing down there. Yeah, Shelley, you wish to say something? Yeah, I've speak, spoken to Peter Wilson, who's the farmer that owns that land, um, just today, actually. And his preference, his family's preference is Catherine's Lane, which is his daughter, who's now who, who died when she was young, quite young, I think. Um, and he has the blessing from Mark Wilson, who's not a relative, but is Katiuku Marai um, advisor. So mm -hmm. just to put that to the board, that that is the developer, well, the developer or the family's preference mm. is after their daughter. Yeah, well, we, we, we sort of have been picked up on that over the last few name names we've had, that the option one is, norm, is their actually the preferred option. So unless we've got a strong reason for not choosing that name, I move that we adopt Catherine's Lane as the name of the Road, street is a road or a street? 
to line, obviously. Lane, but lane, lane, yeah. 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 Off in the we subdivision in Tiwaka Road. Do I have a seconder for that, please? Yes, I'm happy for that. Thanks, yeah. Cam. Any discussion on that? No. Nope. No? Okay. Those in favour? No. Aye. Thank Can you I very just much. check? Sorry, who moved it? It was someone and then Cam. Who was it? Oh, I did. Oh, awesome. Thank you. That's all right. I have to go down there for a nosy thing because I drive past that to walk around every day. <laughs> a, uh, every time I visit my girlfriend, Mark Sweetman, I drive right past it. <laughs> the driveway is right next to it. So it's looking quite spectacular, actually. Well, we've done that. Okay, so board members' activities. Um, both I've been to a variety of, of oh, meetings. Oh, Chris, sorry, yeah. Chris, you yeah. had Is scheduled it... that you wanted to speak to oh. your matter of an urgent nature after oh, the. Okay. Sorry, mm, thank you. Sorry. I'm shuffling papers here. Okay, so discussion on the on our matter of an urgent nature. We've moved it, seconded it, and passed it. Is there any discussion on it? It just means we can go forward, publicise the fact that we've got the funding and yep. call for uh, persons of interest to actually apply for it with, or, or if we can come up with a really good project, we could actually fund something ourselves if we if we can think of something that would really benefit the people of Altaki. Yeah, because I noted that Waikanae and Paraparumu have moved ahead and they're going ahead with um, asking for um, projects to be forwarded mm. to them. Um, so mm. we're just joining them. Yes, yes, and that's what I think. We just need to get it out into the public domain as quickly as possible now. Shelley? Yeah. Well, my only concern was that um, it appears that we want 40 grand spent by September when we don't. That I can think that messaging needs to be a little bit tweaked. In mm. the messaging, it looks mm. like we want applications for up to 40 grand when and it, it's quite makes it quite urgent like people need to think about things so I think we could kind of split it and say that 20 grand will definitely be allocated by the next meeting and then there's another 20 grand to go with it over the next 12 months well I think that's, yeah. that's what it actually says if you read it and put on the the correct pronunciation on every on the sentences yeah. oh, what, it, what it what it reads is so is that there is up to forty thousand dollars yeah. to be allocated to blah 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 blah, and it also does note that this is at the discretion of the community board. Mm. Um, so we don't have to. Um, the yeah, the the total fund may not be awarded at the community board's discretion. Mm. But we have discretion there to just spend the twenty up to forty or, or anything or in between, which can be carried over. So, and and to be honest, the new community board after the elections will get a, a twenty thousand dollar sum to to um do for, for the same initiative in the next financial year as well mm. but that's um, not that's not from september it's the next one and starting in june next year yeah but they'll still get yeah. to spend it but i mean it, it's uh, totally on the quality it's, it's totally on the quality of the projects that are put forward mm. uh, if we think only twenty two thousand dollars worth of projects that are actually useful well we only put those forward i just we can't say until the, we receive them all i just know the um, wording it seemed that, that we had to have applications for the whole 40 grand and by the 13th of september and that's my i just would think it should be a little bit clearer that you know, there's only there only needs to be 20 grand spent by that date. It just seems like. Well, do we have to say that? Why do we? Why do we have to say um, only we must spend well, 20 grand? I think it's quite clear. Samara. So I've got a couple of comments and I don't know if Sue wants to make some additional comments yeah. after myself. Um, so the first comment, I think, so with the. 40,000 in total, there was 20,000 last financial year and 20 this financial year. Mm. So actually, there is 40,000 sitting mm. there at the moment. But what I, what I understand, um, Shelley, what you're saying is um, that's a lot of money. And um, maybe if the board had, had, had enough grants, they could do 
up to 20. Um, but then there is the option of the new board coming in in October to have that additional, to offer another grants round that's additional to our community grants. Mm. So that was the first comment. Second comment is, um, in regards to this, if the board agrees tonight on the criteria and um, sort of the stuff around that, there, may, there will be a time delay in getting that out to um, the community in Ōtaki. So um, I'll have to mock up an application form, get it all loaded on the website, and then there will be a process of having to get it advertised in some of our avenues from council. So realistically, it might not get up till sometime next week. That just gives a shorter time period of um, grant applications having to come to me by the 6th of September. Mm. Just putting that out there. But I don't know if Sue had some additional comments. Well, I think too, we've also put out a few feelers. I know I have, and I'm pretty sure Shelley has, and I know Cam has. And um, also we've got the Otaki Today's going out next week. So we can pro probably get something in there. We were too late for, I think, did you send something to Penny for the Otaki mail? Did something get into the mail, Cam? Yep, that did. Well, that was a yeah. um, thing that yeah. I got through around on the chat. Mm. Yeah. So we've already advertised the Otaki mail as well, which, came, which has come out. So people, there are a lot of people that are actually aware of it. So once th this has gone through and, and then you've got the other up and running, we can really seriously start looking at, at applicants. Yeah. Sorry, Sue, uh, what would you like to add? Uh, the only thing that I would add that because the money has been, 20,000 has been carried over from the last financial mm. year, the complete 40 really does need to be allocated by 30 June. 2023. Um, but what you might want to consider is that, so, you know, kind of building on what Shelley's just mentioned is that you have round one that is before the September date, and then yes. maybe there's a proposal to reopen it up again in March, yeah. potentially for the yeah. remaining amount. So that's an option. Mm. Yeah. And yeah. that's what, that's what we've been well, that, we're, we're trying to leave ourselves open to that possibility. Yeah. Because we I thought know. that if, so, if something oh, came on. up that yeah, was sorry, actually... Chris, but, yeah. if, if, some, if something came up, that was over the 20 that we thought was a really good project. We know we've got the capacity to do it. So, but if not, we'll carry the other 20 over. We have to spend the original 20. Shelley. I just think that that needs to be communicated to the public that 20,000 of this money does need to be spent by this. Because it's a rush for people if they've got ideas yeah. in their head and they think, oh, I'm going to miss out. Um, I can't get that, you know, because these things are usually done by volunteers, so it takes time and they don't all have mm. the time. I think if we communicate that 20,000 or more will be allocated by that date, however, yep. that there is scope, that the, the, there will be another round, depending on what money is left. You know, if we had no money left, then we have no money left. But the community mm -hmm. needs to know that depending on what money is left, there will be another round because it's a very short window for yep. people to put together, pull together a proposal. So basically, I think it really excludes a lot of people who might have a really cool idea, but are not organised like the Otaki Promotions Group or whatever. And so they they're going to feel like they're going to miss out, you know, and they might just need a bit more time. I just think the communication needs to be around the fact that it doesn't all need to be. It just reads to me like by the next meeting, I know we all know that's not the truth, but it reads to me that by the next meeting, we need to allocate $40,000 worth of funding. And I think we've got to split that somehow communications wise. Yeah, I think we're probably sort of coming we're sort of coming to the same conclusion from different angles because I had wrote I, I typed up so there is up to 40,000 mm. which in my mind means we can do anything from 20 to 40, 40. Um, but I think you're coming from the angle of we the 20 has to be done um, but we can potentially do up to 40 if we want yeah. which right. I think it gives of, people who might need a yeah. little bit more time to organize their ideas the time the ability to think they've got the time you know yeah we can always welcome them to come and say you know would this idea float but it just is such a short time frame and that's not our fault that's actually 
you know, it's yeah. because of all of what's happened at council, lack of staff, and all of that kind of thing that we haven't yeah. had this money. What do you have? What it? Whatever. Yeah. But um, you know, we I need to you. clarify. I think. Yeah. Maybe. Well, I'm just trying to think of how to how to word that. Um, Maybe including a line something around there is there is money available. There is um, uh, what would you say? Money available in this grant. Um, um, uh, I don't know about the amounts, but. If, if it is underspend, we are we will be looking at um, approximately March next year to open up the grant fund again, yeah. depending. But yeah, but we and do have to spend the original twenty. I think, it's, I think it's easy to yeah, I think it's easy to split it and say mm. twenty thousand of this must be allocated by the next community board me meeting. However, the board can can. Um, allocate another 20,000 up till March next year, you know, and, and funding will be open. So if people have ideas, yeah. just know that it's not all gone, you know. The only um, thing I'd like to guard against, Shelley, is if we had the situation of we had, say, $36,000 worth of really good projects, therefore, but if some people have held off because they you know, wanted more time, they then may miss out. Um, I sort of one of those, yeah. You're damned 22. if you do, damned if you don't. Mm. Um, well, how are that, the other boards communicating it with their communities? How are they rolled? Do we have any kind of comms from them? Yep. Well, Susan, I think, wants to talk. Mm. Sue? Yes, I mean, I can speak to the Paparamu Ramati Community Board. So their fund opened last week, and it's a really short window of opportunity for people to apply. They only have $20,000 available. I guess it's just going to come down to the calibre of applications they receive um, as to whether they fully allocate that fund or not. Um, if they don't, I suspect they will also have a discussion in terms of what they do with the remainder. So they have split it into two funding rounds. Because they don't they are, for 20. Not as I understand it, because I think they allocated um, money last year as well, as I understand it. How did they get to allocate it when we didn't mm. even know about it till now? Or we didn't get the opportunity till now? Mm. I, I, to be honest, I'm not sure I'd need to look into that, but they've only got $20,000 available to make the decision at their next meeting in August. Can, can you mm. look into that and bring us a report back, please? Because that actually fair, it seems quite unfair. To me, yeah, because I mean that's that's not what Kathy. I, I, I sit next to Kathy most of the time at the council table, and and she she was drafting the you know how how to actually you know distribute the, the twenty thousand, and from what I gathered, they haven't distributed any other money. Obviously, so whether they whether they okay. whether they're just sitting that they are actually decided not to actually distribute the other twenty, whether they're going to sit on that, that could be. And they may have. and I think that I think that's probably more of what they've done that they haven't actually taken into account the 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 next one because we can't carry that last the, the first twenty thousand over if we don't use it it goes. So yeah, so that's it. I'm just. So I'm just adding a line just, at and, the moment. Oh, sorry, go so Can I sorry. just and so I, I just just because I've sort of been half in this conversation mm -hmm. listening um, previous mm -hmm. to, to the meeting, but. If I'm correct, the $40,000 that is sitting in the 2022-23 financial year needs to be used by June 23. Yep. So from what I take, if only there was $10,000 worth of grants requested at the September meeting, there would be 30 in March or February, no. whatever the board mm, decided. No, no, no to that's use not the impression board. I've been given. I was told that okay. we had to All spend right. 20 and the other 20 could be okay. carried over. The, cool. the original first 20 is for this financial year, which but, really should have been done. But yeah, I, I think we might need to clarify that yeah. just because, you know, technically speaking, the financial year closed on mm. 30 June. Mm. Um, so we're already in that period. I think we just might need to come back with clarification in terms mm. of that 20K. And we can so do Shelley. that tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. So Shelley, just... As an interim thing, I'm just adding a line, Shelley, that says a minimum of twenty thousand dollars must be allocated at the September, providing we're, we're um, okay to do that. Must be allocated at the September Otaki Community for well, September 2022 um, Community Board meeting. Um, any um, other funds can be rolled over 
um, and used before June 2023 mm. at the board's discretion. Does yeah. that sound right? That sounds good, Cam. And also sure. remembering we will have other, we may have other grant applications mm. for our normal grants as well. Mm. Yeah. So we'll have two grant funding mm. coming at, at the next meeting, at our last meeting. Yeah. 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 Okay. No, that sounds good, Kim. Thanks. So, Samara, I'll send you an updated document after this meeting. Yep. So, do you guys, would you guys um, maybe? because it's a matter of an urgent nature and, and you want to get the ball rolling, would it be worth doing a, recommend, a recommendation stating that the board um, accept the, um, the proposal that has been tabled tonight subject to some amendments that yep. obviously yep. Yep. Um, CAM's made that will be distributed to the board, some wording like that, just so it's documented that the board has agreed um, mm. You will need to pass a resolution yeah. to that effect, but you will need the wording. Have Have you already got the document there? Because if you sent to email it through to me, I could put it up on screen so you can oh, see it. Um, okay. My problem is, is my email only sends when I restart my computer. Oh, <laughs> it's got a. I've got a bug in my. Um, can you read it? Email. Can you just read it out then, Cam? This whole thing. <laughs> well, well, no, it will. Um, if, you were to read out the amendments, Samara, mm. are you able to um, type the changes into oh, the document well, and then we could share yep. the screen? So my, what I could do is I could put the amendment into a chat and then potentially, yep. can you copy off the no. chat, Samara? Let me yep. just grab the document. Or I've got it up if you need, Samara. So we are in... What, at what number paragraph did you? So I'm basically adding to the bottom of the third paragraph on page one. After the aesthetic enhancement of the Otaki community? Yep. Yeah. Um, and I'm just, just finishing typing. Um, Can I just ask, Cam, do we have a yep. contact um, there for people who might want to... Um, contact one of us to discuss if their idea might float? Um, yeah, we can certainly put that in. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure that there's not one in the Otaki mail, I don't think. And it's just like, well, no, someone might was, have an idea, but yeah, I know it was... May want to run it faster. Right. Yep, yep, that's a good idea. Well, well, so I'm, contact, not sure. I'm quite happy for people to contact yeah, me. Yeah, you know, contact, maybe put out email addresses. Just say contact, yeah. an, contact a board member. Or the other option is they can contact me at council and then that's, I can yeah. take their details and get send an email out to the whole yeah, board. One, one yeah. Yeah. Would be yeah. fine. If you're happy. Um, Fantastic. So long as you're happy to do that, Samara, that's actually perfect. The balance is to be... Um, Fiona, can I still, right. still share my screen and type while I'm, it's being shared? Chat. Da -da -da -da. Bing. Yes, it will, it will just share the window that you've selected so you can um, play with that document while you're sharing it. Okay, hold on, let's see if this works. Oh no, I put a comma before an and. I, oh. I, don't, I don't do that. <laughs> some people do, some people don't. Potato, potato. <laughs> okay, so let's see if this works, team. Does that read all right, Shelley? What's come on the chat? I can't, oh, on the chat. You should have little thing chat down the bottom oh here you go samaris oh right. can you see in my screen yes Is, yep it, yep we can see that thank you samara. Hold on. Mm. i want to scroll but it won't scroll so the the extra bit that we've put in is a minimum of twenty thousand must be allocated at the September twenty twenty two Autaki Community Bill meeting and any balances to be allocated before June twenty twenty three. Fantastic. Yeah, should that Could read I just... any, any balance of the 40,000? Um, so I was yeah. trying to find a way of saying whatever's left. <laughs> yeah. But that's I could also just put in 30 June for clarity. Mm. Oh, okay. So that's the financial yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, true, because you could be first of June. Yeah. Mm. Could I just ask a question? Um, what is aesthetic did. enhancement? Aesthetic. 
Yeah, that's it. Making the making the beauty yeah. and the, um, oh, yeah. so like something that would look good. good. Okay, mm. cool. Could Thank be you. gardens, look, look trees, good. murals, that kind of thing. Yep. Can I just then we need to have in there somewhere um, board members are happy to discuss. If, if you have an idea, board members would be happy to discuss your idea prior to the meeting. Please contact Samara Shaw. Mm. Yep. Wow. Something like uh, board members. Faster, oh. Samara, faster. <laughs> oh, accuracy, not speed. <laughs> oh, oh, now you're putting me off. <laughs> Because yeah. we're watching. No, no, no pressure, Samara. But, no. Oh, no, oh, 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 oh. Oh, my Mara. gosh, I can't, can't, you know, can't even. Samara. Oh. Oh. Are you doing one finger typing? Or are you a, a touch typer? I'll tidy <laughs> that up. I'm a She's touch typer. Wrong. Yeah, me too. Um, okay. You'll have so, to put your contact details in there. Yeah, 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 I'll, yeah. I'll tidy that up. Um, I'll just save so I don't lose the one that I get myself all confused. Uh, this top. Now we get to see how tidy Samara is mm. with her filing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not really. So that um, document saved. Once I've done, so, if you're happy, once I've done my tidy up, I'll circulate it to the board. Yep, yep. good. So if we just get yes. back out of that, um, and then uh, we'll have to start. Obviously the. Uh, the wheels of um, yep. getting it up on the website, yeah. um, similar have, to have, Pepper and Real Medic Community Board. Yeah, and yeah. you'll have application forms you can pretty much copy um, and paste. If from you're them. happy, I will have a look at the Pepper and Real Medic Community Board form that's yeah. been developed and probably just add the you criteria might, that you've stated. Mm, you might in, find in that some document. of the wording is quite similar. Yeah. To mm. the so if, if you're happy for me to do that, because we'll just have to. Um, make sure the application forms aren't similar so people don't get confused with the community grant yeah. process that's normally happening. So, yep. yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, Fantastic. So we just need to, Fiona, don't we need to do a resolution? Yes, so you'll need a resolution um, to um, essentially approve the proposal um, that has been tabled um, and then you, it can be attached as a tabled document. Okay, so the wording for that, what, the Otaki Community Board approves well, a proposal for um, table as per the yeah. attached document or whatever. Is that enough, yeah, Fiona, enough. or do we need a bit more panel um, on it? That, that would be fine, as long as you express that um, you've approved the proposal for the allocation of grants mm -hmm. funding um, as per um, the table document attached, and um, then Samara can attach that to the minutes. Okay, and that moves cool. needs a mover and a seconder. I'll okay, that. well, I'll move that, and who's going to second okay. it? I think you can. Now, any more discussion on that, Shelley? Are you happy? Okay, terrific. We're all and happy. would you like us to come back tomorrow just to clarify the amounts, the funding? I'll, I've, yeah. I've noted that in the minutes, so we can um, email the board just to come yeah. clarify that. If yeah. you're Thanks, all happy. Samantha. That'll be really good. Thank you very much. Um, and just to update you, the public speaker um, is unable tonight, but may come to the next meeting. Okay. Oh, I wanted to hear about the boy races. <laughs> I must admit, I've not noticed. I've, been, I've seen tire marks in places, but I've not actually heard anything. Oh, not if down you go down Otaki Gorge Road, there's a humongous amount. Well, it used to be when we lived, when we lived down there, it was terrible. It was a real speed track. There was actually a car down there once that hit one of the speed humps, went sideways and ended up between trees on its side and they walked away. It was just amazing. Um, just with regard to the boy races, and I didn't hear them because I'm not down in town, but apparently there's a group that do almost like flash mob boy racing. And a few weeks ago that happened in Autaki down... Riverbank yeah. Road and, up the the money road. and oh, so okay. it was an event that was organised and basically they go to small towns or wherever they go, they race and do all their whatever they're doing um, and then they 
leave before the police come. So I'm not sure whether that's the boy racing that they were talking about, but it was quite an event, apparently, if, if you were anywhere near it. Oh, so, OK. Yeah, I, I could hear them from Te mm. Bloody so Wellington a... kids. Don't yeah. put that on the Yeah. Time. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah. Well, not 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 our little treasures from Ulster. Get able to do that. Could do it in your own backyard. Okay. Okay. So, are we ready to move on from yep. the grant app, app allocation? Well, let me find my agenda. Right. We've done the road naming. Uh, members' business. Um, let's see. I've been to a variety of, of council meetings, and Cam and I went to a meeting this morning with Laura Bertelson, Laura Bertelson and Darren, what's his surname, on um, housing in Old Tacky, which was very, very interesting. Um, and sounds like things could be happening, which would be nice after the, the government's little announcement last week. So uh, there's been a lot of things not happening because of illness and I've had that many meetings cancelled. So basically it's just been normal um, business as usual, going to briefings and council meetings. And of course, my friends at the Rotunda and the River and all those other bits and bobs that we all do. So Shelley, have you got anything to report back? Uh, but with regard to the housing and the big announcement and stuff that's happened over the last week, I am amazed. I'm just wondering why none of well, why you might have known about it, but I've certainly had no information that this was I, happening. That I can was... fill you in on that, Shelley. Right now, I was rung up the day before and invited to go, and then I was rung up on the morning of the the announcement and told that it had come from government, the government, the minister's office, that it was either all board members and all everybody or nobody because it was close to election time. And they decided that because of numbers, it was to be nobody. And either, only the first I knew about it was the day before the announcement. And I think James is the same. I don't think he knew anything about it till the day. And that, that's from government. It's not the council, it was from government, central government. Take a step back. This has all been planned for our oh, town for yeah. a long time. And so I would like to know who's known about it because I would imagine I can't understand why for a community elected members within a community would not know that there was something of a foot. And um, does anyone, did anyone else know or was this like a secret squirrel thing that was happening in the background? I, I don't know. No, well, as far as I know, unless um, Samara or Susan knows that there were other people in council that knew about it. As far as I knew, the first I knew about it was the day before the announcement. And I'm pretty sure, I don't think James knew anything about it. He wasn't invited either. He, I think the Iwi it's knew, they were in discussions. Yeah, the Iwi all knew. But other than that, and it was all very hush-hush, and as you said, secret squirrel, I think. So there was nothing any of us could have done about it. And as I, oh, said, I, mean, not, I, I was... I'm not I was, saying I was it's quite, a bad I was quite thing. That we, were, that we weren't actually informed or invited because it is to do with our community and it's a huge, it have a huge impact on our community. It's a huge thing for our community. And I was really quite angry about the fact that we were told we couldn't go or, be, or share in the information. We've actually been told beforehand. Sure, so I want to add to that. Yeah. Mm. Sorry, just in terms of the funding. Um, you know, application, I can't speak to that. But what I can um, clarify is that when ministers make announcements like that, they hold it really tight and in mm. confidence. And unfortunately, those decisions really were out of council's hands in yeah. terms of how far the information and invites extended. It really was um, at the 11th hour where we were notified of a change of venue from Rotorua to Otaki. Um, hence why you got that really late call, Christina, I suspect. Yeah. Um, and, and we weren't across the material at all that, that was um, no. shared with us literally on the day. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's, that's basically what I was told by Laura, that you know, I was Correct. totally out, out, of, out of their control and nobody knew. It was, it was a government directive and there was nothing we could do about it. 
But there had to be something going on before then. Well, possibly. But those that about, we knew, the government know. keeps it very close to their chest, Shelley. They're not going to share it with us. Whether Iwi knew or not, I don't know. But other than that, nobody knew. Take, take, it, up, take it up with Teresa and Gobi. I was just wondering if anyone else was in the same basket. We all were. I think yeah, we're all in the same basket. We, we all were. We were. We were all in the dark. Nobody knew anything about it. And that was my question, Christine. Mm. Thank you. Right. Cam. Yep. Um, so audit and risk, we haven't had a meeting um, since the last board meeting. Um, have attended the odd meeting um, just sitting in for uh, for Chris. The one this morning was um, interesting about the the fund, um, and I've been working on this <laughs> last minute proposal for the twenty to forty thousand dollars. So that's going to be quite interesting, um, and I'm hoping to, that we help the community out quite a bit with that. Um, but that is about me. And lots of time deliberating what to do <laughs> in terms of uh, the next community board. What do you mean about deliberating about the next community board? Oh, whether to stand or not, or no, oh. no, no, whether to stand or not, or whether it's going to work. And checking with the the wife to make sure she's happy. But yep, we're all go. Actually, no, not we'll go. I need to put my application. Oh, all well, yours, Christine. You're on mute, Christine. Shelley, do you have anything to report back? Nope. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so the minutes of the last meeting, I'll take those as read. Would someone, no, hold on, it has to be you and, you and me, Cam. Oh, uh, Shelley was there. No, oh, she wasn't. No, she no wasn't. you weren't, yeah. Yeah, yep. right, yeah. Okay. So cool. um, well, I'm happy. First or okay, second. you remove them, I'll second them. Any discussion on the minutes, Shelley? Have you seen anything in there that you wish no. to discuss? No. Okay, so there's no matters arising. Okay, all those in favor of the minutes being approved? I right, thank you. Right, matters under action. Did you want no. me to go through them? Uh, I'll yeah, give them a missing yeah, that, two yeah. fifths of our board. Mm. Yes. There's, um, I don't think there's a lot been happening, has there? It's yeah. No, Can so just... obviously due um, to COVID staff shortages, um, council, mm. I think we spoke about it last time, but have been hit quite hard in this um, second wave of COVID. So my goal um, before the end of the triennium is to, um, um, we've had some issues trying to get confirmation of a time with the free Wi-Fi on the main street. So that is my goal to chase that up and for that to be picked on the next board yep. meeting. Um, so I have uh, asked for another mm. update um, today. Um, but couldn't get a hold of the staff member that's um, looking after that. So um, hopefully, cross your fingers, that'll be ticked mm -hmm. off. Um, the other ones are sort of still sitting um, with no update, really. Um, uh, the council flats in Ōtaki are just still ticking over. Mm. Um, I know they have some had some shortages with refurbishment shortages in products. So that's been held up a little bit, but that's that's still ticking over. Um, I note you all would have probably um, I sent out the heritage assessment. Oh yes, thanks for that. That was, that so was really interesting. interesting. Yeah, and also the history history of yeah. So it's not on our matters under action, but um, Kelvin from Property just thought that it would be beneficial if you guys um, we did we have spoken about it previously. So that you that you saw that um, you saw that document so I'll if there's any more updates on that I'll keep updating you but pretty much um the matters under action 
that was probably the only update. So I, I just love the way some things never changed. Way back then, it was vandalised. It was broken into. Things were stolen. <laughs> so some, yeah. some I, do, I really done. enjoyed reading that document. Like I read it from start yeah. to finish. It was yeah, really informative. Yeah. Mm, yeah, it was very a very good read. I'm actually going to print it out and keep it. It was very very interesting. So, did you read it, Shelley? I skimmed over it. I have to read it properly. Oh, I'll give it a good, a really good read. It's a really good read. Very, 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 very interesting. Well, even some of the yeah. surf club stuff. I was chatting mm. with Kirsty Doyle about that as well. Mm. It was a history of the surf club. Yeah, no, it was a very interesting piece of piece of paper. That it's, uh, yeah, I think we should keep it. And um, I think I came back and said thank you very, very much for it. It was a very, very good, very, very good for us to So that will it. be something if there's any updates in the next pre, yeah. um, like I can just flip them through to you before the next meeting mm. as well. Yeah. Um, if I hear anything about mm. what's happening. So I don't Thanks think so there's much. anything else on here. We're still sort of waiting on Hurutai Park signage. And of course, the Otaki Beach development's an ongoing. <laughs> Thing I have um, talked to some people at council about the Hurutai Park and sent them some names of people with a bit of history because they've done a historical, um, some kind of history boards down at Waikanae Park, is that correct? And they were interested in doing it for Taki, so I've flipped them some names to contact about the history of the pool and the history of the land. Oh, good. Well done, Shirley. to go in with, with the signage and what we want to do, but yeah, it's a bit, I know it's, there's staffing issues, but it would be good to have someone come and talk to us, maybe not the next meeting, in the next, um, um, after all the elections and stuff, and actually, because I just have this fear that they're going to put time and money into planning something that we weren't really wanting with regard to the signage, you know, mm. we've, said it wasn't destination signage that we wanted. We wanted something neat, you know, cool. And maybe there's someone in the community that could use some of that money to, that we, you know, to create something really cool with the entrance wall or, but it would be nice to have some direction from staff. There's just been, you know, there's money sitting there, but there's been nothing. I find that really frustrating. Mm. But, um, Can we have some kind of, on my plan. So, so yeah. would you just um through you, Madam Chair, um there's two options. We could um organize in the next month, which I know lots of people have got stuff on, that to see if staff could do a um offline briefing to you or just a catch yeah. up. Or yeah. could look at it if if we're struggling, we could look at it um obviously um myself and Fiona can look at it for the new triennium for that discussion. Yeah. I think like, we'll all be interested. Even that, I mean yeah. of course. I don't. I, th I think pushing, you know, pushing it and trying to squeeze something into the next meeting may be a bit tight. Um, the new board, whoever they may be, yeah. um, I think. But even if it's offline, mm. like not at a board mm, meeting, yeah. like staff mm. meeting formally, and then yeah. it can be updated at the next meeting that'd, as well. Yeah, that'd be good. I think that'd be good because yeah. Zoom's so handy, you know, and it's mm. doesn't take them out of their bubble at night or mm. anything, having to travel down to us, and mm. it's really about throwing some ideas around and making a plan going forward because it just seems like well, we've got the money and now there's nothing you know and it would be great to have a discussion about what they're thinking and what we think because it's also a new parks team too so yeah. you know they don't, don't have the history that um, other team members who are still in council but they had a bit of history probably from when they did the park um the community engagement and stuff like that. So yeah. I think it would be great, you know, to and one thing put it we in could, when they can. One thing yeah. we could possibly look at, I know it's been done probably when, in my 14 years with the board, um, I can remember one trainee in the board met mm. um, and did a, like a, a tiki tour around Ortaki with some park mm. staff. Um, so maybe that's something to look at in the new training. Yeah. If we I could think so. That, 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 would, that would actually be really, really good for the new mm. incoming board. Would, yeah. And because you know, we don't know who's going to be on the board, so if it's you know a whole new board or whatever, mm. I think it's something that maybe they they can you know have a look at and 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 make a decision and just see where to from here. 
I think mm. us to try and squeeze it in now in a, in a month is a bit much. Uh, we've, well, let me we've look at the, some we've done, we've done, yeah, we've, we've done the groundwork here. Yeah, we've done mm. the groundwork. So just uh, and say, look at something offline and, and we can actually then perhaps have some recommendations that can go to the next board as well. So, okay. Does anybody have, I think that's the end of my agenda. Am I right, Samara? Have we come to the end? Yep. Matters on direction, we've done all that. Well, team, goodness gracious me. Bring the meeting to a close unless anybody has anything else they wish to discuss. Nothing. No. No? Nothing? Oh, well, there we go, oh. Susan. You're, you're lucky you've had probably the shortest meeting on record. Don't take it as personal. <laughs> you're just too efficient, Christine. <laughs> I don't know. It's a well, very it was, short it was unusual to have no grant requests, but yeah. I know there'll be no some. Grants, yeah. yeah. So, there are, so we, have, we are accumulating all the accountability reports, but um, we don't put them in unless we have grants reports. So I'm assuming the next yeah. meeting we will have normal grants, then we'll probably have other grants, and mm. then um, we also um, have our normal Pika Pika Otaki update at the next meeting. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and it will be the last meeting of the triennium as well. Mm. Yeah. So that will that will probably be a nice long one, which um, yeah. yeah. So um, and, and my last meeting. Oh, Samara, yes. don't make oh. it sad. <laughs> but you've got the lovely Fiona. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we'd like to have both. So, yeah. Can I just um sorry, Samara, you'll flick us out the criteria. For yeah. the twenty, the our mm. fund, yeah, yeah, yeah. So as soon as you can, yeah, and, then and I'll and I'll aim to. Um, I'm actually on leave tomorrow. It's a teachers only day, so I'll aim to get. Um, we'll find out that information around the financials, and I'll aim to get that at some stage out tomorrow. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and then get it up online. So, yeah, if you're all, all happy with that, yeah, have a nice day at home with the girls. <laughs> I know I used to love teacher only days too. <laughs> oh. But yeah, I'll aim to get all that information out to you between now and Thursday morning. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks, then. Ma. Okay. Well, th thank you, everybody. And I declare the meeting closed at 7.50. Wow. And I wow. will just stop the record, stop the recording.